what's going on guys welcome back to the channel we are out here right next to the ocean springs pier between ocean springs and biloxi we got a nice north northeast wind that's keeping this water real calm we are out here we got some live shrimp we are going to go try around these pilings between the train bridge and the ocean springs bridge i've heard good things so far about sheep's head being caught around them let's get out there let's see if we can find some fish y'all i don't know what it is about to get me in those pilings though oh it's a sheep all right y'all first sheep in the boat check it out all right y'all first sheep in the boat check it out i don't know if he's gonna be big enough to keep so we're gonna measure him real quick but if so, y'all know I'm taking sheep's home. I love me some sheep. Oh yeah, he's bigger than I thought. He's 16 and a half with a pinched tail. Heck yeah. Not five minutes in, bro. 14 on the dock. Boom. Oh, you got one too? <laughs> Double up. Yeah. Nice. Heck yeah, dude. Somebody forgot their cooler. <laughs> oh, you got to use my stringer. Is yeah. that what you're telling me? Man, I'm going to have a stringer full today. Never use my cooler. No. I don't know what you're talking about. I got a fun with stringer. Oh, no, I got, got that there. That's a brim stringer. Right? <laughs> All right. Yo, five minutes in. Already got two sheep. Give me a good morning. All right, y'all. I felt it about that one. Feels like a good one there. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Another nice sheep. Heck yeah. Come on up here. Get out of that. All right. Definitely not gonna be as short as a, a fish to take home today, guys. It seems like these sheep's head are stacked up on these pilings. Heck yeah. That's gonna be another 15, 16 incher right there, guys. That is another fish going on the stringer. Yep, 16 and a half, just like the first one. Heck yeah. There we go, y'all. Another sheep, I believe. Now, I've got that drag cranked way down. I can't afford to give them any slack next to these pilings. Yep, another sheepy. All right, guys, another sheep. He's a little bit on the smaller side. Ah, pinch tail, he comes in actually right at 16, so he's going on the stringer. We're gonna be eating good tonight. All right, guys, I wanted to take a quick break from fishing to kind of show y'all something really cool that I just found last night. It's called the Brown Water Banter app. All right, so I just opened this app up. It's got all kinds of cool stuff involved with it. It's got a playlist for music. We're talking catch limits. You know, we're out here catching sheep's head today. I want to make sure I'm legal. So we'll open that up and that'll take me right to the website that shows the size and the amount of fish that you can keep. 
how cool is that so i can go right to sheep's head 14 inches long get to keep 15 of them per person we'll back right out of that and you can see here there's other things here too we got marine forecast tails and scales for your snapper trips uh bait a list of all the local bait shops y'all so you can just click on that that'll bring up a list of the bait shops all your numbers right there so you can find that bait before you hit the water we'll back back out of that tides and currents the radar um, as well as all their podcasts that they do they had a really cool podcast on last night featuring fish in the south and uh Cito. so y'all are local if you haven't heard of this app y'all go check it out brown water banner app oh my goodness what in the heck is that holy cow y'all i don't know what that is but i'm trying to get them away from these pylons Oh my goodness, if that's a sheep, that is a beast of a sheep. What do we got? Holy cow. Oh no, it's a freaking stingray. <laughs> Daggum stingray. I thought I had a beast. <laughs> All right. That is uh, not the targeted species. Now, I ain't trying to get stung or stabbed or anything else either. There we go. Get on out of here. Guys, I thought that was a beast. <laughs> That's a sheep. All right. Uh, another sheep. Man. Get on in the net. These are all cookie cutters too, man. They're all in that 16, right at 16 inch range. Chill, buddy. Yep, he freaking got me. First time being stabbed by a sheep. Let's see what we got here, guys. Yep, pinch tail. That one's actually 17. Y'all, if y'all wondering if the sheep are here, they are here. These water temperatures are dropping, the air temperatures dropping, these fish are starting to move back inshore. We ain't been out here 25, maybe 30 minutes tops when we already got five on a stringer. Let's keep at it. Oh, y'all check that out. Boom, we just got here too. All right, guys, so we have changed it up a little bit. I brought my scraper with me. We're actually scraping some of these barnacles off this piling, letting them drop in the water, kind of chumming up the water there for the sheep's head. But not only that, I'm actually setting my jig head up with a couple of pieces of barnacle. Now, what that's helping me out with is I ain't got to worry about these tiny little fish taking off my shrimp, the pinfish that are down there, the little whiting, the little white trout. Now, when I know I, if I get a bite, it's going to be a sheep's head off of these barnacles. as soon as it got down there oh. that feels like a better one there he pulled a little bit of drag and I had that drag tightened down that thing didn't even get down to the bottom 
Holy cow. That is a nice sheep. Nice sheep, y'all. Yes, sir. Come here, big boy. your butt in the net boom <laughs> all right y'all now that is a sheep i've been waiting for most of these other ones have been around that like i said pretty much cookie cutter between 16 and 17 inches but this here is a little bit bigger and that came on the barnacles that thing didn't even get down all the way to the bottom and he picked up I got the hook out. See if I can get it out of this tangled mess, though. All right, guys, y'all check that sheep out. That's the big one of the day there. Let's get a measurement on it. Get it on stringer. All right, guys, 20 and a quarter inches. Y'all check that one out. That's gonna be some good eating. Barnacles are doing the trick. We had a really nice bite this morning on the sheeps. As soon as we got out here, bite kind of died off. I don't want to say it died off, but all the other uh, bait fish and the little, the little non-target species kept stealing our shrimp. So I changed it up, put on these barnacles. That's doing the trick, y'all. Let's get some more. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. We had an insane trip out there on the water this morning. The sheep's head bite was on fire. We ended up keeping 10 sheep's head. Man, we left them biting too, y'all. They were everywhere out there. But y'all know how much fun cleaning sheep's head are. So if y'all enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. We'll catch y'all on the next one.